Hey guys, I uh, hope everyone's well. Uh, I just wanted to share something with you uh, that I hope will be helpful, especially if you have a TX81Z synth. Uh, you might call that a TX81Z, but I'm talking about uh, Yamaha's classic FM synth. So if you're familiar with the synth, you know that it's typically very difficult to dive in and modify presets on the synth, and that's mainly because it uses a pretty deep diving, menu diving, button pushing architecture. It just kind of saps the easy creativity out of manipulating its presets. So for that reason, I think a lot of people just stick to the presets, which are great. But I was hoping to find something that would allow me to get in there and modify them a little bit more easily. And so I did some research, uh, spent some time looking around the internet, and as it turns out, uh, I already had something in my studio that was set up to do just that. And it turns out it's this Novation Zero SL. This is the MK2 version. So apparently someone who was involved in the creation of this device must have either had an appreciation for the TX or had a TX themselves because it comes loaded with some templates that allow you to modify presets pretty easily. And the way you will access those is simply uh, by clicking on this templates button here. And once you do that, you'll use the page buttons to scroll through and you'll find there are templates for various synths and one of those happens to be the TX81Z. So one of the things that uh, confused me at the start uh, is that uh, there are four templates for the TX, labeled TX81Z, A, B, C, and D. And it turns out that those are basically just uh, set up to modify the individual operators for any sound that you happen to be wanting to modify. So, you know, you can jump through uh, the operators by simply pressing this template button and using this to select one of those four preset templates for the TX. Once you have one selected, uh, the pots and faders will automatically be assigned to uh, manipulating various parameters of a sound on your TX synth. And the setup process was really, really simple. Uh, you just run a MIDI cable out of the Novation into the MIDI in of your TX. That was it for me. I didn't have to do anything else you may come across a situation where your receive channel on the TX needs to be set to the same channel that the Novation is sending on. But in my case, I didn't have to do that. I think by default, uh, the templates are set up to send on the default receive channel for the TX. And then once you have those set up and uh, you're, you've got a template selected, it's really just a matter of turning knobs and messing with the faders to be able to kind of deep dive into the preset sounds in a way that you would have to, you know, push a ton of buttons to do on the front of the synth itself. So without blabbing along any further, I'll uh, hit play. I've got a little arpeggio set up so you can hear a sound coming from the TX and I'll just modify some of the parameters on one of the operators with one of the templates from the Novation Zero SL MK2.
So you get the general idea. Um, it's a lot easier to just sit in front of this thing and, you know, turn knobs and mess with faders and, you know, hopefully come across some happy accidents. And it's a, it's a, I, I feel like it's a more creative way for me anyway to, to do it than just pushing tons of buttons and getting lost in menus. So um, if you're looking for a controller for your TX81Z and you're also looking for a generally good studio controller, uh, you might consider one of these Novation Zero SLs. I think you can probably pick one up on eBay these days for not too much and kill two birds with one stone. So that's it. Hopefully you found this useful.